Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered the top stories about artificial intelligence this day and let's just jump right into our stories. Our first story is that artificial intelligence is learning how to dodge space junk in the orbit. The European Space Agency is teaching artificial intelligence to autonomously dodge space junk in the orbit. So the European Space Agency had faced a lot of challenges while tracking their satellites into deep space because every two to three weeks they had to manually change the path of their satellite in order to protect it from colliding with any space junk or any meteor or asteroid in the space. They have to manually maneuver around the satellite because they are getting alerts that are very delayed in their nature. And this manual maneuvering is causing them a great amount of nuisance as the head of space safety at the European agency said that not only this is a nuisance because of fuel consumption but also because of preparation that goes into it we have to book ground stations, passes, which costs money. Sometimes we even have to switch off the acquisition of scientific data. We have to have an expert team available round the clock. That's why they have turned to artificial intelligence and machine learning to solve their problem. How? Let's hear it from this quote. We have made a large historic data set of past conjunction warnings available to a global expert community and tasked them to use artificial intelligence to predict the evolution of collision risk of each alert over the three days following the alert. This is a quote by the director of operations and he also added that the results are not yet perfect but in many cases artificial intelligence was able to replicate and correctly identify in which cases we had to conduct the collision avoidance maneuver. So this technology and this artificial algorithm is going to save a lot of cost and nuisance to the European Space Association and they are optimistic that this will help them with avoiding other satellites that are going to be launched by Amazon, SpaceX and other telecom provider which are going to orbit in the lower orbit of the Earth. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about an Indian museum that has brought artist MF Hussain back from the dead using artificial intelligence. A few episodes back we covered a similar story about Albert Einstein being brought back from the dead and you can converse with him in real time using artificial intelligence. This is similar story but this is a level above that one because not only you can talk to him but you can hear his voice you can see his 3d hologram as well so in order to accomplish this they are using facial recognition speech synthesis and language processing based on deep learning networks allow this three-dimensional figure of mf hussein to respond to questions in real time so this was created in partnership with accenture labs which is the research and development arm of the firm accenture and this, like Albert Einstein, can also discuss on the topic of his life, his work, and he is also capable of giving you some quippy comebacks. So the digital twin of MF Hussein is also created in the similar way to capture his likeness by talking to his near and dear ones and people who saw him throughout his life and creating a personality based on that. So this is an other step into creating a fully artificial persona of somebody who has long passed away but his works and his personality is left behind so we can recreate it using artificial intelligence. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about India and its vaccination drive and how people are struggling to register themselves on the government app. That's why a data scientist has created a python script to track available slots for COVID vaccines. So Bhavesh Bhatt was a data scientist from the firm Fractal Analytics and he himself found it strenuous on the COVID app or the Arogya Setu app to select a slot for vaccination. That's why he himself has created a Python script which can sift through the data pretty quickly and give you the available slots better than what the website is currently offering. So he realized that there was a public API shared by the government and he decided to play around with it and that's how he came up with the script because he was also finding it difficult to find a suitable COVID vaccine slot around his pin code. That's why he created just two simple Python libraries to create a Python script which is date, time and request. The first part of the code helps the end user to discover a unique district ID. Once he has the district ID, he has to input the data range from which he wants to check the availability 
and the second part of the scripts come in handy when he has to choose the date and time. So he is saying that he is still fiddling around with adding more features like you can book a slot directly on this API. So you can try this, this is working and link for this article will be in the description down below. So you can go and check this out. Moving on to our next story. Our next story is about that computer vision and image analysis of artificial intelligence is going towards common sense a little bit. So machine learning can do anything including image recognition given that you insert enough data into the machine learning algorithm which is labeled so you will have to feed enough data which is labeled in order for machine learning algorithm to identify a particular object in that image. But this is a very strenuous process as for every object you have to insert at least 500 labeled images so that the machine learning algorithm can identify this and it can work as image recognition. So AI researchers at Facebook are working with something called semi-supervised learning which is related to unsupervised learning which involves figuring out important parts of data set without any labeled data at all. For simpler things such as fill in the blanks, if you feed a system 1000 sentences to read and then pre present it to fill in the blanks for a particular sentence, it can do a good enough job by analyzing those 1000 sentences. But for image recognition, it is not quite the case. But still, the AI researchers at Facebook have found out a way in which it works. So this kind of algorithm which is semi-supervised has started finding out patterns within the images and videos and it can identify what are the elements in it. Suppose for supervised learning, if we feed an algorithm 50 images of cat and 50 images of dog which are labeled then it can find out what a cat is and what a dog is but it cannot find what is the relationship between the two is while this unsupervised learning is proving that it can find a correlation between cats and dogs or for the majority part a lot of animals together and it can find out the difference between a living animal a human and a non-living thing in that video. This can be a game changer for Facebook as its algorithm need to suggest videos to other people based on which videos they like. So if I like a cat's video then the artificial intelligence algorithm will be smart enough to suggest me other cat videos or worst case scenario dog videos which are of similar interests. So that's why it categorizes videos in a broad categories and it is intelligent enough to understand a difference between a cat video and a food video or a cooking video and that's why it is able to classify them into these different categories. Moving on to the last story of our day, our last story is a big one. India is expected to invest 1 billion in artificial intelligence by the year 2023. So enterprises around the globe are going to invest 98 billion in artificial intelligence and India's share in it will be 1 billion by the year 2023. This stat comes from Project Management Institute, a Philadelphia based non-profit organization with about 28,000 individual members in India. They have also suggested that people will be rushing into it and 54 billion out of this 98 billion investment can go to waste because of lack of familiarity or understanding of new practices, technologies and tools and the inability of enterprises to optimize data. Therefore, India's wastage will cost $484 million. Therefore, it is important for all the companies to clear their data optimization and data storage practices in order to avoid these losses and this stat comes as a warning for everyone who is trying to invest in artificial intelligence and they will have to sort out their data issues first. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. If you liked it, click on that thumbs up. That helps us a lot. I highly recommend you read all these stories in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And as always, please click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.